Hello lovely creatives, Vivian here again. Hope you're all doing well today. Okay, this is going to be an unedited uh, video. Um, and what I'm going to do today, I'm going to create a design in Canva. You, remember, you can have a free account uh, at the time of speaking in Canva. Um, so just go to Canva, C-A-N-V-A dot com and um, get yourself an account. Okay, so um, as I said, it's going to be unedited. And what I'm going to do, um, I'm on the home page of Canva, as you can see. And I am going to come over here. Can you see? Create a design. And let's see if I can find it because I want to do a photo collage. Okay, you've probably got lots of images uh, lying around on your computer that you'd like to make into a collage. So I thought we'd have a look at that today. Okay, so I'm going to click here and it's going to give me a photo collage, a collage portrait uh, 20 by 30 centimeters. Okay, and Canva has very helpfully already brought up some templates. As you can see, templates here. Um, I'm in the design part of Canva. Okay, so it's always, I always suggest using a template for your new project. So let's have a look. Uh, all results. Remember the ones with the crown are pro accounts. As a pro subscriber, you get this premium template for free. If they don't have the crown, they are, um, I believe, free templates. Okay, so the one I chose, I'll show you a few more. I'm just scrolling down on the left. Some lovely ones here. Okay, the one I chose is this one. Okay, so let's have a look. I like the, um, the colors. As you can see, it gives you the template style. I'm not sure if that says Isor or Isom script. Okay, I presume it's Isom script. Okay, otherwise Isor <laughs> wouldn't be very nice. Okay, um, I'm not going to use the um, the images here just in case they are copyright. So what I'll do is I'm going to go over to the left and look for coming down okay here are my images okay these are images I've uploaded but I want to go to uploads here we are can you see uploads and um, here you can upload your own images I always suggest using your own or images that you have bought for commercial use. Um, I actually bought this selection here. Uh, you probably remember I used them in my design uh, proposal plan. Okay, so I'm not sure if there's anything. These are beautiful. These I bought on a, um, on a design site. Let's have a look. Okay, there's nothing really there that I want to use. So I'm going to go up to Elements. Okay, Search Elements. And I am going to look for... Aesthetic. Actually, I already had one here. Rose Gold Aesthetic. Gold Aesthetic. Okay, I want to go to the, um, the free images, so I go up to the top here to filter and I come down and tick the free box. Okay, so we've got graphics, photos, frames, 
and videos. So I am going to look at some photos. So imagine I'm doing uh, something for um, jewellery or hair gems or something like that. And I am going to... Well, first I'm going to go over here and I am going to click on one of these and backspace and get rid of it. Okay, here you can see this is a frame. So whichever image I choose will be put in the frame. So let's have a look. Uh, it's portrait style rather than landscape. This is quite nice. Some hair gems. Hair gems being uh, hair clips, things to put in your hair. Okay, that looks quite nice. And then I'm going... Ah, here it also gives me magic recommendations. So I'm going to look at all of these. Uh, the crown is back. <laughs> okay, so they obviously want me to use a, a non-free element. But I am going to... Okay, let's get rid of this, which is landscape. There's a frame here. All you do to put a frame in is go to Elements, look for frames, and then you can fit the frame where you want. Okay. Um, right, so I want to sort of stick with the, the gold effect. Nice fabric there. So maybe I could use that, which is quite nice and place that there and it's also similar to the one here as you can see then I'm going to go to the top get rid of that and I am going up to the top and I'm going to write pearls ah lovely okay um, I've still got the filter clipped on free, so I rather like these. Some beautiful pearl images. I don't often wear pearls, um, but I do like them. Okay, so what's this? This is like uh, some beads. Let's click on that. I'm going to make it a bit smaller and insert it there okay and then I need a smaller one something that might stand out maybe uh, this is quite nice but a totally different color palette uh, uh, uh. that's rather nice I like that let's Pop that one. In this frame. Can you see it goes in of its own accord? Okay, the brown tends to take away, the beige rather, set, tends to take away from the other colours. So I'm going to get rid of that and try and stick with something a little lighter. Okay, we're we're talking about pearls so as you can see it fits itself to the box and I'm going to go in here and I'm going to write pearls and gems okay it doesn't quite fit so if I bring it along here it should fit on one line and then I'm going to it down a little bit. Ah, there it is. Isom script. No, <laughs> I saw. Okay, it's it's nice, but let's look for something else. So I'm going up here to the fonts. That is rather nice. Um, I quite like Brittany. 
Yes, I like Brittany. Bring it up a bit. Pearls and gems. Okay, and um, here I'm going to get rid of the um, the bust with the flowers. And I'm going to look for, I'm still on elements, remember. Uh, let's write sculpture, see if it's got anything for sculpture. Okay, ah, this is the Trevi Fountain here in Italy, here in Rome, where I am. Isn't it gorgeous? Fabulous. And this, I, I don't want to be mistaken, but it might be called the Pietà Pity. And it's a rather fantastic sculpt sculpture in uh, in one of the churches here in Rome. But I'm going to come down. Ah, she's quite nice. Let's have a look. I'm going to the three dots to see Head of a Woman, courtesy of the Cleveland Museum of Art. Okay, uh, CCO Images. So I believe, if we click on the eye, we can use this media safely in a Canva design. Okay, make sure that uh, you read all the licensing. I quite like her, so I may just add her. Oops, sorry. Up to the top. Undo. That's where I want her. Okay, she's not quite lined up, so... If I click on it, you can see I can then move her around slightly. Her or him? Not sure. Okay, and as you can see, we have now created our Pearls and Gems photo collage. You could also use this for a, um, a mood board if you are working with a client and uh, it can be really, really useful. Um, as you can see, I'm on Elements, Photos. I can go on Graphics and there are plenty of different ones to choose from. Not quite as clear as the photos though. So I think that's fine. Um, I'm going to download it. Let me just check the size so I've gone up to file pearls and gems you can edit the name photo collage um, and it is 20 centimeters by 30 centimeters okay if you want to add some swirls or some decoration stick on elements and let's write in swirls and see where that takes us. I'll go on to photo swirls. Okay, they're more back for backgrounds. So I'll go back to graphics, um, shapes, audio, frames, graphics. Okay, this is quite nice, and also this one. So, I think I'll grab that. And maybe align it under the Pearls and Gems title. If you go to the top, you could change the colour. Um, it gives me all the photo colours, can you see? Which is rather fantastic. Um, let's go for something a little bit lighter than the one that is there. Okay, but it's the same colour as up here, so I'd have to drag it down for you to be able to see it. Quite like that. And I'm going to add another swirl. This one's quite nice. Maybe 
bring that one to the top or across here. Let's see, make it a bit bigger. Just by dragging it. I'm going to go back up here and I am going to use the beige. You can just about see it, maybe a bit darker. Okay, that's quite nice. If it's too light, what you can do, or rather too dark, I can click on it, go up to the top here, transparency, and keep an eye on that while I do this. You can bring the transparency up or down. Actually, I quite like it at the maximum 100. Um, I'm just wondering whether to change this colour or not to make it similar. So I've gone up to colour. No, won't be able to see that. So we'll do that and I'll go up to transparency and bring it down a touch. Okay, so as you can see we have our rather nice um, collage. I'm going to come up, if you come down here, you can go larger. So that, I'm going to place just above there. I'm going to use the arrows on my keyboard to bring it down. Okay, so there we are everybody. I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. Very simple way of adding uh, images to a photo collage. To download, remember, go up to share, download, which is down here, PNG, high resolution, and you can download it to your computer. Okay, everybody, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, let me know if um, I'll probably put this on YouTube so you can uh, comment or send your feedback. Or if you'd like me to make a, a specific tutorial, let me know. I'd love to do it. Okay, bye-bye for now. Take care.